So yesterday I shared with you how Isaiah 40 to me is one of the 10 greatest chapters in the Bible. It's one that's had a significant impact on my life. So what would you do if I told you, guess what? Another really incredibly significant chapter in the entire Bible comes less than 13 chapters later. Because in this section of Isaiah, we have a series of passages that are known as the Suffering Servant Songs, or passages. And the fourth servant song is found in Isaiah chapter 52, verse 13, to chapter 53, verse 12. Honestly, the people who put the chapter breaks and the verses in the Bible, they messed it up here. This should have been one chapter. What were they thinking? I don't know. Maybe it was a five o'clock on a Friday when they were putting the numbers into this part of Isaiah, but they could have done it better. But in this fourth servant song, in Isaiah 52 and Isaiah 53, we have a passage that the early church, as they reflected on the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus, they looked at these verses and said, this is exactly what Isaiah was saying. We see it in Jesus Christ. And again, I want to read you a few verses today, starting uh, at verse 4. Our verses of the day are 5 and 6, but I want to read you a few more. Surely he has borne our infirmities and carried our diseases, yet we accounted him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, crushed for our iniquities. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole, and by his bruises we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. I encourage you to read this whole section, Isaiah 52, 13 to Isaiah 53, verse 12. But I hope you can see why, for the early church, the first followers of Jesus, and ever since, Isaiah's magnificent description of God's suffering servant has been equated with the person and the life and death and ministry of Jesus. We don't like to think of ourselves as people who have gone astray like sheep. Uh, we don't like to think of ourselves as people committing iniquity. But part of what the Suffering Servant Song reminds us is every single one of us, as the Apostle Paul would later say in Romans, we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of that sin is death. And our way out, our salvation from death and the consequence of our sins and our iniquity is our wonderful Savior, Jesus our Lord, whose birth we will soon be celebrating. He was born a baby, but he grew to be a man who would teach us how to live and die on the cross, that you and I might have the blessing of forgiveness and the gift of eternal life.